I'm Jennifer Loom, the new executive director of Prop. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm here because we're going to be celebrating Empty Bowls, Prop's annual fundraiser, February 22nd. But of course, with the pandemic, uh, we're having a virtual event this year as we did last year. So we're coming up with creative ways to connect with you, our generous donors, and ask you to remember that there are many in our community with empty bowls and struggling with hunger and food insecurity. So, because I like to cook and soup is one of my favorite things to make, I thought I'd share my recipe for chicken wild rice soup with you, which you could make for your family or share with friends at home. And remember, empty bowls and prop. So this is how I make my wild rice soup. I start with a stick of butter, one stick of butter, half a cup of butter, uh, over medium to low heat, let it melt in the pot. Uh, we're gonna saute some vegetables. We don't wanna brown them, but we just wanna cook them slowly so they get translucent. All right, so while the butter is melting in our soup pot, we're gonna chop our vegetables. So I start with one whole onion and obviously take the root and the stem part off. Um, you can chop it up as fine or as coarsely as you would like. I do probably a, a reasonably fine dice. Um, and we're gonna let the onion cook in the butter for quite a few minutes, probably 10 minutes or so. You don't want it to brown, but you do want it to get nice and translucent. And um, so it really is a very mellow, kind of a sweet onion flavor in your soup. Melting nicely. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. And then I'm going to start adding my onion now. The butter will continue to melt, but this will also bring the temperature down a little bit if the, uh, if the heat seems like it's too high. Give it a stir. So now we're going to chop up our celery and our carrots. And lastly, we're gonna chop up our carrots. Now, after I add the carrots to the pot, I like to add a little salt. Salt helps kind of soften the vegetables and draws a little water out of them, so they'll continue to break down a little quicker. I usually salt a little less in the beginning. You can always add more, but it's hard to take it out once it's overly salted. Okay, let's take a look at our vegetables. They look like they're nicely softened and the onion is translucent, so it's time to add the flour. So we add half a cup of flour. This is really to help thicken the soup. It's almost like a chowder. So I'm just sprinkling in the flour and then I'm gonna stir it in and let it cook for a couple of minutes just to cook out that raw flour taste before I begin adding chicken broth. I use low sodium chicken broth. It really helps you control how much salt is in your food. I add four cans. I add the cans one at a time and stir to incorporate with the vegetables and the flour each time. All right, so now we're adding the second can. And as you can see, it's very thick. So this will get thinner as we add more chicken broth. Okay, so the first two cans are in. I'm gonna add two more cans of chicken broth and then I'm gonna turn up the heat. All right, so I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit, probably more to a medium to medium high, depending on how your, how your stovetop gets heated up, but I wanna to start to bring this to a simmer. All right, so while our soup is coming up to a simmer, I'm gonna add a little more seasoning. Remember, I put about half a teaspoon of salt in when the vegetables were sauteing. I'm gonna add another half teaspoon. I'm gonna add lots of freshly cracked black pepper. And lastly, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of dried thyme. Okay, so our soup is coming together nicely. It's at a, a low boil, a simmer. And um, once the chicken broth has really kind of been incorporated uh, with the vegetables and the flour and everything's married together, I'd like to add a little bit of boost. Uh, we've already got stock in here, but I like this bouillon paste. Just gives it a nice depth of flavor, a really nice chickeny flavor. So I add probably about a tablespoon in. Um, it is very salty, so just remember, go really easy on the salt in, in your soup until you've got this in and can taste it. 
That's kind of my secret ingredient. Now that our broth portion is, is all come together, I'm gonna to turn the heat down and then I'm gonna add in our diced chicken, just a rotisserie uh, chicken that I bought at the grocery store and our wild rice and let them come in and warm up in the soup. All right, so first the chicken. And now we're gonna add the cooked wild rice. All right, so we're gonna let this warm up, but I do have to kind of take a look and see how thick the soup is. This is really thick. So I'm gonna add a little water. Okay, so final ingredient, just a little touch of green at the end. I add some flat leaf parsley that I dice up finely. I don't do the stems, just the leaves. So pull the leaves off first. Okay, home stretch, last two ingredients. Half a cup of half and half, but if you prefer no dairy in your soup, just leave it out. And finally, the finely chopped Italian flat leaf parsley. And there you have it, chicken wild rice soup. And that's my chicken wild rice soup. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Prop and our Empty Bowls event on February 22nd. Together we can make sure that no one goes hungry in our community. I'm Jennifer Loon, Executive Director for Prop. Thank you for watching.